How did you manage to get to Tony D'Orazio? I had bugs and wiretaps all over the damn place. When that weirdo left the Royal Hotel to deal with one of his men, I was listening. Tony, I didn't know you was coming. I'm just packing away your latest shipment. How long you been running this business, Joe? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Five, six years? Five years, three months, and 18 days. Well, this is turned. Look, I, I know I've been lied, but it ain't my fault. I've always placed a premium on maintaining order. If you let the rot set in, eventually it will take hold and destroy everything you've built. The only solution is to isolate it. Eradicate it before it takes hold. You understand, Joe? Christ, Donnie, you gotta listen to me. Some nuts out there shooting hell out of everything. You know how many of my men he killed? Yes. Dominic, is it? You will take the armored car and personally oversee the collection of all outstanding monies owed to us. Am I clear on this? Y yes, Mr. Razio. Once you have collected what is due, deliver it directly to me at the hotel. The code to the elevator is 0451. From there, Lincoln had a couple of options. He could use the elevator code and go into the lobby, which meant shooting the hell out of the place. Or he could steal Dominic's car and go in quiet through the hotel's parking garage. When you're in the hotel, grab a couple of those little fancy soaps. <laughs> they don't give me any more at the motel. <laughs> Pull on in, Dominic. Park anywhere.
about some some bitch running all over the goddamn place, smashing our shit to pieces? I wanna know what the fuck's going on down there. You hear me? It would be difficult not to. What? I've already taken the appropriate steps to address the situation. Believe me, things are well in hand. Well, they fucking better be. If this thing with the judge goes sideways, shit's gonna roll downhill real fucking quick. We haven't lost anything of any significance except for some men. And they can be replaced. In fact, they're the easiest thing to replace. Saul doesn't give two shits about any of those stupid fucks. All he cares about is the people that matter. Understand? I understand completely. And you have my word that all payments will continue as scheduled. None of our business associates need to concern themselves with our recent difficulties. Yeah? I'm counting on you here, Tony. Don't fuck this up. Goodbye. Take the rest of the day off. We got a problem. Spotted him! This way! We're dropping uh. our fucking flies. <clears throat> He's taking out the whole team. Got no way to... Yeah. I see. Yeah. Too late to run now, boy! Little <laughs> here, motherfucker. So fucking done. Got it. Over here. Cover my. Oh, no. Ain't no way you're getting past here, boy. This spade wants to play. He has a kid. I'm all boxed in! He's unloading on us! He's taking out the whole team! Slip behind him! I'm ducking down! Ready. Hey, fuck. <laughs> Cocksucker! 
your hair. You like that? Aren't you? Filthy fucking mongrel. You really think you know how all this is gonna play out, don't you? <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> Kill me. I'll be replaced tomorrow. <laughs> no one will even notice. You're wrong. Everyone will notice. <laughs> War on the streets of our fair city as a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Then all these men showed up and every one of them had a gun. They ran into the Royal and that's when the shooting started. <laughs> I still don't know how the hell Lincoln got out of that hotel. This new machine is supposed to be. Give me guns in that goddamn elevator. Get Not up here. and see if he's still in there. Hey, darling. Hey, baby. Oh, something's going down. Another body. Oh, I'll find him. If we don't find him, the chief will be pissed, huh? That's a nice piece you got there. That's a nice piece you got there. Wait a second. Is that a gun? Kill one of our boys! Gun! That's a gun! We need the police! How clumsy of me. Motherfucker's got business to attend to. That's a gun he's carrying! You got plans for that gun? You got plans for that gun? Wait a second. Who's gonna kill somebody? What the hell is going on? Oh my god, are they dead? Oh, 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 I'm out of here. Sorry, my fault. Oh, didn't start like that. That's a nice shit. piece you got there. Uh, we got a body okay? here. Hmm? Oh, no, no, that's a gun. Hmm? Hey, bro. That's all for no, 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 Oh, no, 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 no. Excuse Help. me. Please. He's murdering us. Well, bastard didn't stand a chance. Do your fucking job. All of us. Get 
this useless fucking body out of here. What in the hell's wrong? Oh, shit. Shit. That man just got shot. That's a gun he's carrying. Apologies. Thanks for making time for us. Tony DeRazio just kissed the pavement outside the Royal Hotel. Downtown is ours. Cabal construction in the sham work sites, the Imperial, and all the limp dicks who owe the mob money, we own it all. Our brothers got this turf locked down for you. Once we have your official word, we'll line it with the rest of our operations and keep the money flowing. The last is a fader. You'll get no arguments on that. And she talks a good game, but she hasn't a clue what she's doing. I've run all the vices this city has to offer, probably invented half of them. There's no one better to be running them. Look, I'm all for civil rights, feminist bullshit, but this broad, she's not good for business. You can't run these rackets calling the shots from your heart. Trust me. I learned that lesson the hard way. You know I'm the only one who will really have your back. You're fucking with my livelihood, pal. That don't put a smile on my face. You cooked things up this far, but you can still make it right between us. Feels you get this to me, my con is gonna shit himself. No disrespect, Vito. But Cassandra's the best person for this piece of the city. Motherfucker! This right here, pal, it ain't fucking okay! You hear me? Show the man some fucking respect, Vito. Don't fucking say another goddamn word unless it's to apologize or give me some action. I'm tired of being fucked like some three-dollar hooah. That bloody bastard's got nothing but empty words in him, lad. Me, on the other hand, my words got weight, and you're best to do right by me. I've heard enough, Vito, and I'll take it into consideration. All right, that's it. We're done for now. They're saying you threw Tony off the roof of the Royal? Actually, it was through his penthouse window. You always had a flair for the dramatic. Tony's ledger. Last couple pages are pretty interesting. Any idea what US 5CJ means? Wait a minute. Holy shit. Why is Lou willing to comp 10 grand a month at a brothel and the same at a drug den? Based on what Greco told me in Scaletta, Marcano's laying out a bunch of money to get gambling legalized. And if it's better to have in your pocket, then a, ju then a judge on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, U.S. 5C, could be over 20 judges on that bench. Could be anyone. That bench could be any one of them. The kind of man we're talking about isn't used to people getting into his business. I start visiting the places listed in that ledger, he'll panic and go to Lou for help. And that's when we'll find out who he is. Keep that wiretap running. Never turn it off.
Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do